Welcome back to The Audit with Robert Alai. Today we are hosting a language professional, a radio host, voice instructor, uh, what, rugby player, carpenter, <laughs> farmer, <laughs> I don't know what you are, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you are everything. You know, as you are introducing that yeah, bit, eh? <laughs> you're introducing that bit. I'm actually thinking yeah. when somebody asks me what I do, yes. I really can't pinpoint. Yes. I think I usually just say the latest thing I'm doing. Mm. Yeah, so I say I'm a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> because you're very talented. You know, I was wondering, what oh, is this guy doing all these things? Because, I've, like me, I think I have a camera, which these guys are now using. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah. I don't do much with it. What do you mean? Then I have, you know, like you buy, because I used to, when I used to travel, yeah. I used to buy uh, the camera yeah. because I travel. Yes. So when you travel, you take very nice. You yeah. have, but when you are just in Nairobi, you see everything every day. So you don't get but, interested but, but, as much as you. But documenting it is also another process. Yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I yes. mean, we have a national park here. You can go and take pictures of animals. I go, I go you know. Street photography. Go. Yes, street, street. Yeah, street yeah. Yeah. photography. Yeah. Although nowadays I don't know the way Kanjo operates, you can be nabbed. Yes. There are very many things you can do with your camera. You, your camera. you cannot just uh, gather dust, man. But, boss, <laughs> uh, I'm very impressed that you can do all these things. You can still do your sports, agriculture, oh, uh, carpentry. So, Ebuto Anze, Ulikoa Shulegani, where you started from? I started in Olympic Primary School. Born in Nairobi. Yes. Mm -hmm. BBK, born and bred in Kibra. <laughs> Olympic <laughs> Primary School. Yes, it was a, as we say, a stone throw away, literally yes. and figuratively, because it's just close to home. Mm -hmm. So that's where I started off. Uh, finished my eight years there. Uh, with a One very, school, eight years. Yes, you're a good boy. Yeah, no, you know. Listen, by the time you're going to Olympic, <laughs> yes, if you're expelled from Olympic, yes, then you're a lost cause, because Olympic instilled discipline. Nobody from Olympic had discipline issues. Anyone asema by the time unatoka pale, mm. I had mistress, Mrs. Nganga. Never mm. forget that name. Yes, where is she now? Wow, wow, wow. wow. I don't know if she's she? retired. Yeah. But she was a disciplinarian. You need to look for her. To the core. Hey, Mrs. Nganga, by the way, thank you very much for, <laughs> you know, creating the man that we are today in this world. Yes. I'm a disciplinarian to the core. So by the time you are finishing with Olympic, ah, you have no issues. By the time I was living in the KCPE exams, Olympic was the best school in the country. We were mm. number one. Yes, I And remember. actually, we held that for several years. Actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think know. the lowest score at that time was a 403 out of 700. It's not that you guys used to mark exams. And so no, 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 You had the marking scheme. Apart from the marking scheme, mm. you used to be, unajua kila kitu. Questions mathematics from number one to number 50. If you miss one, mm. that's kiboko moja. You can get 98, but unachapu wabado kiboko moja. It's like you did not get 100. Now you're looking at a sego there with 48. Unasema hizi ni viboko ngapi before I go home. <laughs> yes, and it used to be viboko. There's uh, no, you wouldn't escape. Chief, yeah, because, proper viboko. Yeah. Corporal punishment, I just came to learn about it in secondary school. Otherwise, likuwa tu kiboko. Yeah. Yeah. Corporal, like, oh, slash, and nini. Ah. Yeah. Hapo na hapo kumamalizana. Kungoa, kungoa mti, ah, kujenga man. barabara. I don't even understand why I used to approach trees. <laughs> now we are planting them. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> so after Olympic? From Olympic, yeah. uh, the highway secondary school. Yeah. I went to highway. South, South B or South C? South B. Uh, yeah, South B. South C near barabara upaningine. Yeah. South B, yes. Mm. The highway secondary school. Mm. Also four years Four there. years. Wasn't expelled. <laughs> because from Mrs. Nganga, I found Mr. Kibe. Yes. The principal at that time. Where? A thorough disciplinarian also. Mm. His philosophy was very simple and straightforward. You're here for a reason and for a season. Yes. Your season is four years. Yes. Don't make it five. Don't make it six. I don't like people repeating. Finish when they. Your reason is study. Period. Maliza four years. Same you're here school. for a reason, you're here for a season. Yes. Mr. Kibe, thank you for that lesson. <laughs> no, I mean, now? I remember. Uh, you, you know, where is he? I think he went to work for JICA at one point. Uh, yes. The Japanese. Um, yeah. Agency. Yes. Uh, he worked at JICA. I think he's retired now. Okay. But that's why he went to uh, work afterwards, and I think then he retired. Wow. From Highway? Yes. Uni. From Highway, University of Nairobi. Not even from Highway. Mm -hmm. You know that one year of lazing yes, about? Yes, yes, I yes. I went to Alliance Francaise. Yes. That's where I also uh, continued studying my French because I'd started ah, in high school. Ah. Uh, and then 
I went to University of Nairobi as I was still finishing my diploma at Allianz. Mm -hmm. Then I went to do my degree at University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. That's where I did uh, my... With good uh, French knowledge already. Uh, we, yeah, with, with the basic yes. knowledge of French. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll say a good French knowledge. Let mm -hmm. me not say basic. Let me say good knowledge of French. Mm -hmm. The problem is I went to university and of course you have to start from scratch. Oh, yes. at, at your end. At your end. Yes. So I had my diploma in French, but mm -hmm. I was starting from... Bonjour, ça va? <laughs> yes. And to which I just told the teacher. Yes, days of the week. I, I just told the lecturer, listen, mm. this is my diploma certificate from Alliance Française. All these things you are teaching me. Can you exempt me? Just exempt me for year one, year two, year three. <laughs> She's like, no, listen, what yes. you're going to do, I'm not going to exempt you. Yes. What you're going to do is you're going to attend class, mm -hmm. but you're going to assist me in teaching. teaching. That's how I started teaching as well. So <laughs> teaching my classmates. <laughs> Uh -huh. And then, of course, he is like, just come for exams. Because, uh, listen, I already have this diploma. I'm working yes. towards a degree. Yes, Actually, yes. I cannot be doing this level yes. now. And so. you start with somebody from Kanyam Lori. <laughs> <laughs> from Wangapala. <laughs> Wangapala. <laughs> Someone doesn't understand Bonju yes, Sawa. Yes, yeah, Bonju Sawa. So, yeah. so from there, from, from your end, you got interested in... Uh, also, this is where you got it. No, or at uh, Allianz. Actually, at Allianz. Theater. From the, uh, I, I, did, I did the theater at Allianz because, yes. uh, well... Teaching at Allianz, because I also taught at Allianz, yes. I got uh, introduced to Heartstrings Kenya. That's where mm -hmm. now I got into theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... Uh, Heartstrings you know, Kenya was then by Churchill. Yes. Or, yeah. no, actually, it was, it, was, it was Sammy Mwangi, Victor Bear, and Ken Waudo. Yes. Yes. And uh, actually, uh, Churchill was actually acting. Yes. We were oh, acting. was one of the actors. He was one of the actors. Yeah. And that's how I met him. Mm. Uh, and we acted together for, a v I think, for like seven, eight years yes. on stage. He was called Churchill Otien. Or hey, <laughs> He was called very many things. <laughs> <laughs> and he was tall and slim. Yes, I remember yes, that yes. image. Eh? And With a fro. And then he was also doing set, set books at, you know, at, at the National Theatre. Yes. So he was alternating between uh, the two. Mm. Uh, and that's... Uh, then he got uh, employed at, at Radio Africa. Ah. So while he was working at Radio Africa, mm. I was still acting. Yes. And then he had invited uh, the, the, the big boss, uh, Patrick Wako, to one of his shows. Mm. At Allianz. At Allianz. Yeah. They saw me on stage. They're like, hey, yeah, this guy actually, you know, yeah. can and actually do this. Yes. It's possible. Yeah. So, you know, a bit of surveillance for a while. Yes. Then they're like, listen, position is opening up uh, on, the, on the, the breakfast show. Mm. If you are feeling it, come for Who auditions was like everybody else. So, uh, Nyambane. Yeah, Nyambane was living. Yeah, Nyambane yeah. was living. Yes. So, we went for the interview. Uh, a couple of us were retained. Yes. Uh, and then in the end, it was uh, me and uh, Jalango. Yes. Who were left yeah. as, as the finalists. So they're like, listen, we are going to keep you guys on air one week each. Let's see how people react to you. Uh, of course, day one, you know, pressure. You're, you're like with the Caroline Mutoko. Yes. Day two, like, I'm like, you know what? Come and buy and buy. You know, born yeah. and bred in Kibera, <laughs> Kichwangumu. Just go there. You just do you. And then, and that's called Jalang, because yes. he was also acting uh, at uh, the National Theatre at the time. Yes. I told him, listen, Chief, let's meet. So we met at Allianz. We're like, you know these people, it's either you or me who's going to be retained. Mm. Why don't we just do a collab? Mm -hmm. um, he's like, what do you mean? He's like, ah, see, your personality is this. Me, mine is this. So we actually scripted what we are going to do on air together. By the time the auditions were finished and yes. the interview was finished, yes. They liked how we sounded together, and both of us were retained. Ah, not on the same show though. That was no, it was on the same same show. It was the Kiss Breakfast. Oh, oh yeah, because you are three people. Yes, <laughs> yeah, for a, so the three for of us while, yes. maintained yes. on that show. Yes, and that's how we kept that show for five years. Ah, yes. for five years yes. together. Yes. Together. And I was still teaching at Allianz at the time. Yes, and I was still acting with so you do at evening. The time. Yes. So I would do the breakfast show. From there, I go to class, yes. teach, and then act in the evening. Ah. So my day was complete. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing everything you're doing now. The only thing you, you didn't do then yeah. was photography and carpentry. I don't know if you're doing farming then. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I, I wasn't doing all these things yeah. then. Yeah. Because, listen, I mean, by the time you're finishing at 8 p.m., there's yes, no time to squeeze anything tired. else. Um, now, interesting thing. Afterwards, yes. I, I met another colleague um, at Allianz who mm. was uh, into photography, and uh, you know, I also got interested in photography because he showed me this picture of this, you know, detailed picture of an insect. I was so intrigued, and I'm like, I have to do this. 
give me one year, I'll be able to take pictures like this. Mm. So I started investing. The money you're earning here and there, I invest, I bought a camera. First camera is? It was a 60D. It was a Canon 60D. That's yes. the first camera I bought. Yeah. And, Are uh, you still a Canon guy? Yeah, I'm still a Canon guy. Okay. Uh, I still shoot uh, Canon. You know, yeah. with, the, with the new technologies that are coming with the R5s and all that. Yes. Mirrorless. Well, hey, I'm <laughs> loving <laughs> the technology. Yeah. So that's how I got into photography. Yeah. And then I started taking pictures of insects. Yes. Because I think it's just unique. I don't think there was anybody else, you know, really interested in macro to that extent yeah, at that no, time. Yeah, no, nobody. So I started taking pictures of insects. Absolutely loved the details. Of course, I remember the first picture I took. I posted it on the photographer's uh, Facebook page. Yes. Hey, people tore me apart. Yeah? Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a bad picture, actually. It was a very bad picture. You oh. Know, I, 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 me, I, the first one, I think I remember. I thought you... Did it so back up a guy's surprise? Are you okay? I remember your comment. That yes, was the second one. Oh. That was the second. The first one, yes. I'd sorted a fly. Yes. I love when you was a honey. I love when you took a picture of it. I'm like, wow, there's so much detail on the wings. They're like, that's not macro, man. You just massacred a yes. <laughs> <laughs> From then, I got yes. in touch with a couple of guys who yeah. are, you know, like uh, proficient in that uh, area. It was uh, Eric Gitonga and a guy called Abdul. Yes. And they taught me the ropes. And then that's when I posted the picture of the insect that you actually commented on. Yes. That time, I think you're also doing a photography at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I posted that, and guys are like, wow, this is nice. You should keep it up. Now I started going out often. You know, I used to shoot every day. From yeah. when I leave uh, the radio, on my way to Allianz, yes. I would pass by the National Museum. You know, they have gardens there. Yes, yes. And I would be in the bushes taking pictures of insects for at least an hour before I go to class. I did that every day. Without fail, every single day. And then I would go to class, then edit the pictures in the evening. You know, if I like, I maintain. That's how I actually grew. Have you ever interest. been paid for photography? Uh, people have bought some of your the, photos. The, 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 you the you upload them on stock. Uh, yes, I've, 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 I've uploaded them. Some people have bought some of them. Yeah. Um, but because I'm I think also, you can be very good in product photography. Yeah, but yeah. Hey, you know, listen. I tried product photography. Yeah. It's a different ball game altogether. Yeah. If you take a picture like this, there's light hitting the bottle. Yes. When you take a picture, you're going to have a reflection that is bad. It's like when you take a picture of somebody wearing glasses, yes. there's a reflection on the glasses yes. of the light. Yes. So it requires you to be able to balance angles, this, that. There's Before so much that take, can go yeah. into it. And I actually got into it. I started uh, taking uh, some, some products as well. Mm. I got a couple of jobs actually from you know, products. Yeah. Uh, I've even been uh, invited to take pictures. There's another guy who has a butchery, uh, Diamond Plaza. Yeah. He's got an array of... You know, like Nyama. seafood, yes. meat, all these fantastic cuts. Yeah. He's like, I need to upload these things because now every marketing is taking place online. I need. So I was there like the whole day mm. shooting meat. I was. No, no, no. Yeah. No, Nilikula. And the good thing is, yes. he paid me for the job, but also gave me like you know, fed you. Like, 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 hey, he paid me. Yeah. Because I'm like, you don't pay me in meat. Yes. Yeah, chumps, but I need uh, to buy memory cards and all that. Yes. So he paid me, but he also said that, listen, I mean, you, you're so fast and quick because I was uploading immediately on, you know, the computer mm -hmm, editing. Mm -hmm. So by the time I was leaving, I, I gave him everything. I don't want to do this work at home. He gave me four kgs of beef fillet, and I was so happy by now. Not only have you been paid, we put an extra four kgs of fillet. Any, you know, we got to go pan, <laughs> eh, with wine and, ah, my friend. <laughs> Hey, and uh, I enjoy actually I enjoy product photography also. Yes, yeah, yes, 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 definitely. Apart from the uh, the what the carpentry, the agriculture, the jungle, the agriculture, rugby. Yes. First, you have to. What, you, what are the thoughts? You know, to me, to me, put I know. I think I think it is one of the biggest losses that we've um, experienced as a rugby fraternity as a country also. And as a country, in the, in the, in the, uh, you know, the, the sports the, uh, in sports in general, because yeah. he, he was bringing some degree of professionalism. Yeah that could relate in very many other sports, not just rugby. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, I, I played against uh, Aimba yes. at one point of my career. He was yeah. a very bad number eight, and even worse number seven, because he was the fly half's nightmare. Yeah. You know, those guys were just on the scrum like this, waiting for you to touch the ball at fly half. If you dilly dally with that ball, he would square. And then he would buy you a pint afterwards <laughs> to tell you what your mistake was. But it was, it, I mean, the, the news, of course, very shocking news. A big loss to the country. He was yeah. a f fantastic gentleman off the pitch, on the pitch even more. Uh, and I think it's just a great loss. Yeah. yeah. It's just a great you know, loss. He was suffering from? Uh, it was cerebral malaria. 
Yeah. Also the sports, you know, the sports, the health uh, department for the sports here. Yeah, I don't know how they handle it <laughs> now that you can, they can talk about the, the player's life and the coaches. Now, the, the interesting thing with the, we usually call it, you know, matters of sports welfare. Mm. Because there's the sports management now when it comes to branding and getting sportsmen money. That's yes. one thing. Yes. Then there's also the welfare of the, the, of the, the person the, off the, the pitch, for instance, yeah. you know, after injury. Yeah. Injury management, how yes. does it happen? Um, I, I, I can say... From the days I used to play to now, mm. there's, a, there's quite a bit of growth that has taken place when it comes to managing sports injuries. Back in the days, I mean, you, you break your leg on the pitch and you know, hydrotherapy, well, come on, one. On a chukwa salimia, on a royo. The next day you're told. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you don't realize there was a eh, serious some, Something, yeah, something yeah. a bit more serious. Over time, mm. now we got into the place of uh, the union started making it a prerequisite that every rugby game must have like an ambulance present. Mm. Now, most clubs could not be able to afford an ambulance every weekend. Mm. So there was cost sharing. For mm. instance, if uh, Mwamba and the mean machine, you know, they, they share the highway. Yes, yes. They're like, listen, guys, we cannot be able to afford this. Why don't mm. we share mm. an ambulance so that if it's an emergency, it can, mm. it's just a crossover. Yeah. Uh, and now we are getting to a place where we even have, you know, sports and conditioning coaches, you know, uh, injury management is, is being done better. But even medically, mm. uh, sports uh, surgeons, yeah. we, have, we have sports surgeons now who fix your knee so that you can be able to go back and play, not just fix your knee. sports surgeons now, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kijabe has uh, been like the, 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 the cradle for most uh, national team players, uh, you know, surgery sports, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's where they go. Uh, fantastic uh, surgeons, uh, you know, like the Professor Gakus and, you know, uh, Kenyan Jews. They're there. Mm -hmm. So not only fixing you to be able to walk again, but play again. That was something that was new. We used to depend a lot on, you know, like foreigners. Uh, because Kijabe, being a mission hospital, they used to have like an exchange program with um, American doctors who used to come you know, mm. to treat mm. surgeries. Mm. So we've made some leaps and bounds into that. Of course, there's room for improvement um, where we, we... You need to have Kijabe here. Yes. Because this is the... Actually, they, 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 they now have, they now have um, uh, a clinic here in, in Westlands where you can do the first review and then if you need the surgery, now you can go to, to Kijabe itself. Ah. But we need more of those. Yes. Because... You know, yeah, somebody's healthcare is still Kisumu. expensive here, man. Healthcare is still expensive. Very expensive. It's still expensive. Yeah, and and if you look at, at rugby in general, yes. um, and, and this is where one of the things I usually you know, thank uh, the late Benja for, mm. is spreading the sport. Mm. Because back when I was the playing... Yeah. To the grassroots. Yeah. Back when I was playing, the only teams that were outside Nairobi was Kisumu, uh, Mombasa, RFC, and Nakuru. Now, we even have the professional Cabras, we have Bungoma, we have... You know, we created tournaments, uh, you know, not we. Actually, it's, it's Benja and Quicks. You know, mm -hmm. we talk about uh, the, the, the Masaku Sevens, the Meru Sevens. They actually decided, let's, listen, let's take the sports outside. We cannot just be having like three cl clubs outside Nairobi. Yeah. And Western Kenya already is producing the bulk of the players. Why don't you have a professional side on that side? So it was very instrumental in, you know, growth and development of the sport in that respect. Mm -hmm. Of course, he grew the sport a lot uh, with, with the Impala Rugby. But then he moved to know these shiny mm -hmm. skills that he gained from uh, the national team with them. Then we started seeing a bit more competitiveness, you know, even from other teams. Yeah. Back in the days, uh, the, 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 the main clubs, you know, Impala, Ken Harley Queens, and Nondis dominated, like yes. all the slots in yes. the national team. And then, of course, you know, come somebody from this uh, very club doing very well, decide, let me take rugby to Meru. And I'm like, do you even have a Meru rugby <laughs> player in, in the national team setup? Yes, yes. After Masaku Sevens, finally, yes. we got Kevin Wambua. Yes. Uh, I think he must be the first cow <laughs> to play rugby. <laughs> But you see, it was decentralizing it. Yes, yes. And you know, taking it to. It was spreading over. Spreading. And a lot of guys coming in without any knowledge of rugby. Yeah, exactly. We even had coming to, Yes, yes. Yeah. And these guys became more, they tried to become more knowledgeable than even the players themselves. <laughs> you know, they <laughs> exactly. watched watch from the side. Yeah, no, wrong. They shout yeah. from the, from the, from the, what, the yeah. terraces. From the terraces, they shouted. Yeah. <laughs> they shouted. And, and you know. It was very nice, you know, just seeing these guys go to Kisumu. Even the Kisumu had Dallas Sevens. Yes. You know, yes. Dallas Sevens. I think before, before before Corona, what happened to Masaku Sevens? Now, because I think it died at some point. No, because you know, also, also now being being a, a sport, and we have a union. Yes. Of course, the rugby union is the custodian of the sport here, mm -hmm. uh, mandated uh, you know by the government and by law. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, not only that it died down, it was actually there, but now it's the county government taking ownership. Mm. And that was what was actually uh, the, 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 the you know Quicks and, and Benjo trying to to get counties to do. Yes. Let's let's take an example of sports. Can you imagine if we had forty-seven football clubs? Yes. Because we have forty-seven counties. Yes. If we had forty-seven football clubs, rugby clubs that yes. are sponsored by the county government yes. in their sports 
yes. manifesto saying yes. that for sports, yes. Nairobi are going to do this. Yeah. So county government of Masaku and the government um, Alfred Mutua did well when you know bringing prize money that tournament initially, yes. and then we moved to Kitui Sevens, and then we have you know uh, Meru Sevens. The sport was spreading, and I think the, this the, with the slag with Corona, of course, unfortunately, uh, money is disappearing, sports people are suffering, and all mm -hmm. that. But if it was to spread in all the other counties, yes, and if each county people in Masaku owned the sport, they're like, this is our team. We want a Masaku RFC. We want a Meru uh, Rugby Football Club. Well, maybe they can find another name. Yes. We want uh, Garisa yeah. Rugby Football yeah. Club. Yeah. You get. Mm. So you take ownership of it. Not everybody will play in top top flight, but that's how you grow. Yeah. See, even like in a, uh, is it Bungoma they're playing? You know, Division yes. Two, whatever yes. it is. Yes. But that's how you grow. Yes. People start owning the club and saying this is our club. Yeah. And that's how we get to the level of professionalism. Especially now that the counties, you know, are basically the what. Ethnic administrations, I don't know, because you know some of them are even named after ethnic groups. You know, yes. Kisi, Nara, um, what, um, Pokot, Turkana. Yes, but now you imagine, imagine if they came up with a creative name like uh, not Mean Machine is already taken, mm. uh, like Soft Machine. Let's say for, <laughs> <laughs> for the, those who are soft, <laughs> those who want to play soft rugby. But, but you see that uh, will take our sport to the next level, and yes. we we'll even stop thinking about you know um, worrying too much about unemployment because. Everybody's thinking about, ah, there's an opportunity of playing for the county rugby team. Can you yes. imagine we have a county yes. rugby team? Yes. And there's money for it. Yes. Because like I want to... Like some all-stars. By the way, do, do we have, do we have like chums that is being uh, given in devolution for sports? I don't know. Was it you devolved? See, we don't even know. Was it devolved? <laughs> because, you know, I, think, I don't know. I, don't, because you know I, I, think, I think even if it was not devolved, I think it should start from the grassroots. It, it, it Because must. I do a lot, you know. And now people have left it to the betting companies, which is good and bad. Good, in fact, that they are the ones with money. Mm -hmm. People spend, you know, yeah, yeah. the vice economy. Yeah. People spend so much in, in, in gambling. But also, they need to spend in spreading the sports. Yes. Especially. In, yeah. yeah. Of should, course, with, with checks and balances. Yes. And of course, if the, the, the education comes with it and making everybody responsible yeah. with what they're doing, there's always that angle to, 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 to exploit. Yeah. But also, you know, like all these companies, um, we, we saw what uh, Safaricom did with Chapadimba. Mm. Spreading the sport mm. on Sakata. Yes, yes, yes. It's 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 now at the grassroots, yeah, and it's and the, boys and, the, and girls. And the Copa Coca Cola. Exactly, and yes. it's boys and girls. Yes. Um. So that's one way of looking at it. What about other sports? Yeah. And me I always I always mock people and tell them, you know, <laughs> when I was growing up, yeah. we had darts. The first sport I actually saw on TV was darts. Mm. Properly after football, there was mm. darts. And I remember that guy commentating and saying, "Game shot, whatever happened to that?" I still see it. I still see it on some channels uh, hey. in the in the UK. I think that's you know guys, You know, you know, you see guys playing. And the there's a can you imagine there's yes. a stadium that yes. is packed watching guys play that? Yeah. What happened to Adats, man? <laughs> that's the only sport I think we can play Even now. Google fight. <laughs> Even Google fight. This one of uh, Halwale people that are it. But it's it's, it's, it's a serious crowd. thing. Yeah. Exactly. Because you know that one is not as bad as the Kuku fight. You know, you see chicken fighting. You say these roosters, hey, they're going to, uh, and these Mexicans and Colombians and love this thing. <laughs> big, big, big. I don't, know, but hey. I, don't, I don't think some people can organize you know, these cockerel <laughs> fights. They'll eat them before they yeah. get, <laughs> before they get to the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So from the sports, agriculture, any carpentry. Carpentry. How you, yes. How did you get into? Oh carpentry? my goodness. Yeah. I do carpentry as well. Eh? Yeah. How do you learn all these things? You know, you there's an app or you. No, 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 no. Listen, the thing is this: yeah. I've, I've always told myself that never settle. I mean, always find something to do. Don't yeah. just settle. Mm. Um, when when we had the first lockdown in March last year, everybody was at home. Yes. Uh, and you know, everybody was like, the first week, two weeks, everybody is, is excited. We're not working. Chief, after week three, mm. you're like, ah, I need to find something to do, and mm. you can't leave the house. No. So. Um, that's when I got into carpentry. Because, you know, the kids are at home. They're not even going to school. After they finish their Zoom classes, they're just at home. Uh, and their toys are all over the place. So I'm like, you know, listen, why don't I make a toy chest mm -hmm. where I can store all these things? And, yeah. you know, yeah. just leave I it in the living room. I need that one. You make it for me. Because yeah. I have all these Legos. I don't know where to put exactly. them. Exactly. That's how it started, by yeah. the way. And I made yeah. the first one. Yeah. I just posted, uh, you know, on Facebook saying, ah, by the way, guys, you know, I've made a toy chest for the kids. You know, at least I'm doing this quarantine. I'm developing a new skill. Then somebody's like, ah, are you selling that one? I'm like, hmm, depends. Everything is for sale. <laughs> I'm like, yes. So he paid me for that. I'm like, I actually sold furniture that yes. I made with my hands. Yes. So I made another one for myself. Yeah. Then on Facebook, 
somebody had already commented, make me one, make me one. So some, I got three orders from that one. Yes. I'm like, this is interesting. So I went to Lakabeta Road, bought some pallets there, went home and bought some, you know, sandpaper. Now yes. that one was doing by hand. Yes, yes. Hey, and you do it all alone. Work. I do, I was doing it alone. Just up kwa nyumba. So I made three and I actually sold them. And with that, I managed to buy a machine to help me, you know, like a proper drill. Yes. You know, this nyundo and everything, apana. Yes. Because when I was starting out, I only had like three tools. Mm. Hammer, uh, a drill, mm. a battery powered one. It wasn't too uh, powerful. Yes. Uh, what was the, 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 the third? Um, no, actually, it was the drill set, not even a tool. It was the drill set itself. Yes. And then over time, I started making furniture and selling. And people mm. were like, hey, this is interesting. So I would go to Pinterest, mm. look at something interesting. I'm like, I make it. Mm. Now mm. I got into making coffee tables. Forget about these boring coffee tables, you know, that are too perfect. You know, I don't mm. like perfect things that you buy from the shop. Pallets, you know, mistake here. It has holes there. I don't know what. That's a, that antique look. Mm. People are like, ah, can you make me this? Can you make me that? Before you know it, I had like a book. I was writing all the orders. And what I told myself is I don't want to be like every other fundi. You know, the word fundi by the way is... Uh, it's very bad. It's negative. <laughs> it's very negative. Yes. They don't deliver. No. So I used to tell guys it's going to be ready in two days. Yes. And I, it was ready in one day. Then I'm like, hey, I'm getting too efficient. Now the problem is now people are starting to make too... <laughs> so uh, many orders. Ah, so many orders. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and as Oesha Tabiambaya of being too efficient. Yes. So that's how actually it grew. Yeah. And one year later, I was looking at some of the tools that I managed to buy. The good yes. thing is I did not spend like, you know, any of my money to buy tools. Mm. I was selling something, buying a tool. Selling something, buying, buying a tool. A tool. Huh? Right now I'm selling and at least I'm putting fuel in the car, mm. you know, paying for internet here and there. So I'm like, this is actually something that can work. No, you're trying to, to do the unique ones. Exactly. Yes. And, you know, just be original. You cannot beat uh, these big companies with big machines producing perfect timber and all that. You do what you can do yes, in your yes. own car space. Yes. I want to buy a meter saw. You know, that yes. saw you put on a bench, yes, then yes, you do like yes, this. You yes, cut yes. angles. Yes. Because I want to do some picture frames. Yes. <laughs> I can frame my own pictures at home. I take the pictures, I frame them myself, I hang them. Because another the one. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, yeah, the photos, you know, some of them, the ones you take. Yeah. Yeah, ah, thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 you know, with the, with the carpentry, and, and this is where we try to understand the technology which has enabled you to do what you do efficiently. Mm. Yeah. You know, you said Pinterest. Pinterest. I don't mm. know what, what you call it. Pinterest. Pinterest. Yeah. So the Pinterest, no, no YouTube. Yeah, YouTube as well. The, me, I have this book from TBC, DIY. Yeah. It's a very good book, and yeah. especially the carpentry part. Yes. It, Includes all the things you can make for yourself. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to TBC next time, yeah. check it out. I think I it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit, it's a bit, XP four, five thousand, but it's good. But it's see, very I'll, detailed. I'll, I'll make a coffee table, yes. sell, and then buy the book. <laughs> yes, because, yes. <laughs> because that's why I started learning, like you know, mortise and tenon joint. Yes, when the last yes, time you had yes, that yes, thing, yes, you know, yes. in high school or primary hey, school. Hey, hey, boss, now I was doing remember. it practically. Yes, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Of course, the first, the first one and second one were a bit shaky, shaky. Yes, yes. But I'm like, I actually did amortize and turn on joint. Yes. If I don't you take this, people think that CBC Mekuja Juzi. Ah. Before that, you had CBC, the real, where, where the government bought all yes. these hammers and drills yeah. and uh, saws and what, and they were Stanley, one of yes. the best brands yes. ever. Yeah. But where are they? Ah. I even made a bid bag. In home science, you don't remember. Chief, <laughs> why was my bean bag? Me, I did a bean bag. Yes. That was, I think, that was the entry of science. Yes. There was a fringed mat. Yes. You know that mat you get like this one, and then the, that was the simplest one. Yes. By the way, I usually mm. say this. Mm. I don't understand the reason why we made a petticoat, but I made a petticoat. In home science. <laughs> don't ask me why I made a petticoat. <laughs> And nobody even is and wearing it's, petticoats nowadays. And it's nowadays. not obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> nobody wears it nowadays. They'd ah, rather they'd they'd rather be they'd Goodness rather, they'd rather to be I made I made a petticoat. Yeah. I can't. I made a petticoat. Yeah. What? Well, but yeah. a shirt? Yes. Because that was the other thing I was going to do. Either I was going to get into carpentry, or I wanted to do some sewing. Yes. You know, like to be able to make a shirt mm. or a trouser. Yes. Because for me, I challenge myself that before I die, I must be able to do as many things as I can. Yes. Carpentry, at least I can say I'm comfortable. I can yeah, make yeah, something from yeah, scratch. Yes. I made a chair. Let me say, big, making a chair is the most difficult thing. Mm. If you see a carpenter making for you a chair, Usim mm. Do you know how many mortise and tenon joints are on a chair? Yes. My goodness gracious. You start okay, counting. Okay, cut a moja and dogo. Okay, cut a moja and dogo. Now you have to, ah, finish. You have to get another piece of, my goodness. It's <laughs> it's hard work. Yeah. Uh, so I want to get into a bit of sewing eventually. Yeah, in and to see if I can make a you know a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the sake of it. Be careful because you can cook. 
Ni ni gutapa kidogo. Na pita na kidole. Yeah. So Yeah, but at, at least I did that. Yes. Uh, the couple of bits enjoyed it. And yeah. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still doing it by the way. Yes. Uh well photography is set. That's yes. okay. Yes. I want to get now into motocross. Motocross. Yes. Motorbike. Yes. And you're doing the dirt bikes. Yes. Uh -huh. How many CC? Two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. It's a bit light. It's, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've, you know, I've never ridden a motorbike. You've never. No. So I started. When? I went. I went for classes uh, two what, months ago. Where? At at Inked Bikers. Yes. By the if 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 you're going to do something, do it right. That's yes. what I usually say. Yes. I'm not going to go into a field no. with a border border guy yes. and then they're saying, <laughs> the, the, the inked bike is very serious yes. because what you do, you do an online course first. It's four hours. What do you do online? You, you watch some video clips yes. and they have questions that it says like 10 minutes each. Mm -hmm. at, at the end of uh, each clip or five minutes, there are questions. Questions, yeah. And you cannot proceed to the next part until you get the questions right. They have a website, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And you cannot skip. Your Kenyans will, will forward at your <laughs> four hours. Ah. There's no way of, you cannot forward. Yeah. You basically have to go through yes, the yes, entire yes, four hours. Yes, yes. At the end, a certificate is printed. Mm -hmm. Now that's when you take that for practicals. Mm -hmm. You go and do your four hours a day. For how many days? For like a whole week. Now, depending on how much, if, if they judge that you need more hours, they'll tell you. But... I need to do that. I need to do it because I'm, and, I'm, and they're, they're serious, eh? Yeah. They, they're not taking chances. No. If you you're not, you don't get on a motorbike, you don't have a helmet, and you don't have the niggas the and niggas. the yeah. Simple things. They're like you know you have to get used to this being responsible. Early. Yes. They teach you how to avoid you know accidents, how to ride, when to ride. If you're tired, you stop. You take a break. They take you through all that. Yeah. Laugh with the last day, they go with you on the barabara. Mm -hmm. with, the, with, the, with the coach. Yeah. He's like, you have to go with your bike or you can get a bike there. No, they give you a bike. Okay. They give you a bike. Yeah. I didn't have a bike when I went. Yeah. They give you a bike and you go with them on the barabara. Mm -hmm. Tell you this is how you... On the road. So, you know, Alafu, there's also follow-up because yes. they also help you to now book classes in a proper driving school because for you to go to licensing and TSA, you have to be mm -hmm. registered in a driving school. Mm -hmm. They take you through the now the you know road signals again because... Of, of course, you've been driving, so you're, it's a bit faster for you. Mm. They book for you the exams at NTSA. You go to the exams. Yeah. They help you, tell you, oh, you can go and apply for your smart uh, e-driving license, whatever it is. And afterwards, they even do follow-up. If you're still not confident on the road on your own, we have groups. You know, like Nyumbakumi Initiative, but now for bikers. That yeah. Where do you live? Oh, you live in this area. There are like five bikers in that area. Get in touch with one of them. When you're going on the road, they can yes. accompany you yes. so that you build your confidence. So for me, I thought that was very proper. Yes. So I did that. I got my license. But now I want to take it further. And I want to go to off-road school. Boss, now say... Hey, <laughs> life is for the living, but... <laughs> of course, my knees will... Uh, you know, you see, you, see, you, see, you, see the, you see the guys dying. But you know, motocross, Nani motorbike is very good. I think I got into it three, three years ago. Yeah. yeah, three years ago. So you ride? I, yeah, I ride. Ah, I do, I do. But at 200cc, mm. Suzuki, but a dual sport. Yeah. So that bike. Kidogo. Even so, me have the dual sport actually. Yes. yes. I, I got the, the Suzuki. Kibo. No, I got a Kibo. Oh, the Kibo. The Kibo 250. Yes, yes. I like, like the yes, stance. Very, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the stance yeah. of it. Yeah. And it can do both. I need something that can do both. Yes, yes. But now I, I want to learn that bike, that bike. Yes. Just on its own. Because yes. I think there's another thrill of. If, yes. if there's one thing that this uh, Corona period has taught us, mm. we have to value the time we get in fresh air outside. Yes, because yes. Because we've been in the yes, house for yes, one year. Yes, So we find all it these trails. It helps me a lot. Yeah. Going to Longo North, yeah. going to Ngong Hills, yeah. you know, just going. Because with a bike, you can go even yes. where the, you are just walk. Yeah. Where the cars can't exactly. go. Exactly. Yeah, so. That's, that's what I want to challenge myself to do. Yes. And I want to see if I can be able to, you know, do like, you know, Tembe Aken on a motorbike. Yeah. Camping and all that. And yes, yes. So I'm trying to see if I can find some nice camping <laughs> spots. <laughs> There's nothing like <laughs> Maisha Wazungu. Let me tell you. Maisha Wazungu. No, you have too many problems. No, you see. You are going to spend... 100, 200, 300,000 just to walk around Kenya. Somebody's <laughs> sleeping hungry. Around? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you're going to do like, uh, yeah? To walk around. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this the Ndudi the, the guys, the Ndudi guys watching you now. Uh, Listen to the guys, in a day, they learn how to ride a bike. Yes. Then they start in the evening. Yes. They start to carry people. Yeah. 
<laughs> risky. <laughs> yeah, you very don't risky. See. Yes. Ah, yeah. don't do it. Very risky. risky. Yeah. Very risky. Yeah. And that's why I usually insist. You know, I only have like uh, two or three constant um, riders, Buddha, yes. Buddha riders. Yes. They're the only people who carry me. Mm. Because I know how they write. Yes. I've had them for actually for the past like four or five years. I've been using the same guys. Mm. And uh, I, I bought my own helmet. Yes. And I actually encourage people, if you just use borders often, just yes, buy yes. your own helmet. But, yeah. Especially now with yeah, this yeah, COVID. Especially, especially in Kenya. Yeah, just like in Rwanda, helmet. I can use somebody's helmet. Yeah. I don't know why. In Rwanda, yeah. you know, some of the countries, you, like in Rwanda, you find them organized and clean. Yes. But I think the DNA of the Kenyan rider, <laughs> you have to look dusty and dirty. <laughs> For you to operate as a border. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. You know, even the ones... Employed by the company, they, yeah. these delivery guys, yeah. you know, the G4As, the mm -hmm. Wells Fargo. I was sitting somewhere and I was seeing the rider coming to deliver something. Then I said that these guys cannot be bought just a new kit. No, but when you are, they'll be bought that new kit. Yes. But only one. Yeah. I couldn't I could change. Remember, even our, our traffic officers for yeah. the longest time, yes. there's one that you are bought when you're starting the service. Yes, then they forget there's about There's one it. that you are given, yes. f just in case Prezo is passing. <laughs> and that's it, man. And you don't wear that one another day. When I go there, yeah. Peter. Yeah. So it's... Uh, I mean, you go, you uh, go by yourself. Yeah, I just get, get, get yourself something. Yeah, you know, so yeah. it's crazy. And you know, you have well, more than 1.6, I think, million motorbikes on our roads. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now yes. imagine how many, how many of those 1.6 million actually properly trained. A very small number, yeah. and nobody stops them to check because you know they operate like a gang, which is another problem. Another problem, but also yeah. for their own safety. And you know, I used to criticize them a lot. Yeah. But when you are at risk and you are a rider, mm. and these vehicle drivers, the motorists don't care about you, you need a gang to protect oh, yes. you. You need them to protect <laughs> you. you need to. And I've seen them protect actually their own. Apart from the crime, you know, he yeah. committed while protecting their own. I think I think I think to to an extent I support it. I just don't like the idea of burning things, killing, and so on. But also, yeah. you know, the notion of hit and run has become so rampant. Yes. At one point, uh, they are like, "Ah, you people are always running." Yes. And, yes, uh, yes. 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 Riding here is riskier. Yeah, it's very risky. As, as you know, particularly riding in Nairobi. Yes. Elsewhere, Buru, it's fine. Buru number eleven, number one eleven. Yeah. Then Buru is uh, Nani Westlands is number. 10 or what? About 10 or something 10, like that. 10, yeah. Then Number 23. Uh, 23. 3 out of yeah, yeah. Those guys are gang. Uh, 145. Yeah, <laughs> you okay? You what? Hell or not. You Some places clean. is okay. Yeah. And that's why for me, I'm like, you know, you're saying, oh, with your age. I'm like, listen, if I'm going to ride, let mm. me go and ride somewhere. Mm. You know, you can the Hell's Gate. Yeah. Before Matatu hits me in Hell's Gate, at a, at a common, at a so what are you going to do? Are you going to buy a trailer? Carry the bike back at Hell's Gate? No, no, going no, to see, pass see, here. See, see you ride. Yes. Pole pole too, but you don't go. I see this was Zungu lifestyle where you, <laughs> you carry you, you carry you carry your bike. Where stop this mentality of what you are Zungu lifestyle? It's yeah. just a, no. Listen, the, the you thing know, is, you know, because guys in Nairobi have started to wish to Zungu. Guys no, they've started. Peloton. They've guys started. are buying peloton. These uh, funny treadmills in. Oh, they're in, putting in their houses. Yes. Uh, then the other thing they're doing, like Wazungus, they're buying these uh, bike racks. Yeah. Because everybody now rides some bicycles. Yes. They have these bike racks on their vehicles. I also have a bike, bike rack. What do you mean? <laughs> then, as for me, just, just use to fit in the boots. You use other to tow us to crew. Uh, no, but you see, yeah. kids came along. Yes. Kids came along. Yes. So they know most place at the back. Yes, yes. I couldn't have a boot. Oh, Americans, they don't care about the bike getting, <laughs> scratching the car or what. But, but, I, but I, I used to cycle a lot. Yes. Yeah, so, so also that thing of cycling is what yes. told me, ah, you know. And cycling off road, you know, mm -hmm. because of the mountain bike, you know, just going Mount Kenya, whatever it is. Yes. See, at my two hours, it's also fitness. You see, in Nairobi, too much pollution nice. and all that. Just go. I remember the last time I was in Las Vegas, uh, then you saw me buying those sneakers, then you said, Kuja lakino kimbi. Exactly. <laughs> you don't buy those sneakers, then you sit with them in the house. Like, hey. See, it's like the camera that you have, yeah, yes, you, you don't yeah, take pictures. Camera, you don't take pictures. Uh, you know, that thing, you know, but it's, it's very nice. You know, I can see. The young boys, I think we we we'll have to agree with them on how to eh? how to make money with them. How to monetize yeah, this thing, but you know, get a few weddings yeah, here and there. Yeah, That's the how wedding, you make money. You bring me money yeah. as long as you bring me the the, the money I invested in the camera. That's, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you have to, yeah. just to return on investment, man. Agriculture. Now farming. Hmm. Rice. Yeah. Uh, where, where do you come from? Your shags. Mimi. Yeah. A hero. 
irrigation scheme. I had an irrigation scheme. <laughs> that was this Jerekali on the promise for many years. Jakano take total. Jakano take total. Do you know the insult they give to Jakano? Yeah. Especially now that is flooding. Yeah. They always tell us that when we sleep, mm. when you are from Kano, me and you are from Kano. Yes. So what happens is when you sleep, you hang your hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> to, f to find out if the water. <laughs> yeah. To sense well, if the water is coming at night. Yeah, the <laughs> you sense the water levels. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the I'm water still level, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, still okay. okay. I'm if you can go elbow up, talk away. Talk away. You know, I was talking, with, and we were with this team. And we were talking to people in Ombaka area. Yeah. And these guys were telling us that, you know, you go sleep, then 2, 3, 4 a.m. Yes. And the moment and the water is there, you cannot leave. Yeah, you cannot leave. You can't. Yeah. Kumbe, the whole road is already flooded. Yes. And, and normally, hey, you know, funny that you say that. Actually, last year it was flooding. Yeah. You know, you have to sleep outside. Yes. Because you cannot sleep in your homestead. Maji meja. So, and you find the entire community. You're in one place, in the clear mm. field, mm. where there's no water. Muna mm. two story. Mm. So, but you are sure that your stuff is safe in the house because even the thieves cannot go there. But you see, that's, it's, it's a common problem. Mm. For me, I don't understand how this is a problem year in, year out, and we don't have solutions. Mm. Right now, I see, I see the, I think it's a, a Japanese or Chinese company that's try, trying to do the dam there in Yando. Yes. Uh, but even, even without that, we need to do a canal. To a canal? Yes. Because we use the same water for irrigation. Yes. Eh? Yeah. The, the rice fields there. Yes. Eh? Yeah. We do, but now, the, the canals, you know, we also, uh, MP, Pialazi, Majaribu, yeah. uh, Skume, by the way. Yeah. So you come and you come and no, I'm just ask. What are you listening to? Kwa ukwele na kwa upole na nyando MP, please. Yes. To take to party calvats. Listen, you lack you lack calvats. We've been asking for calvats, but at least it petition magi. Now they they put calvats because the former MP at least alibaya ka calvats outside his house. Yes. You know. Barabara. You know that's the former MP is Ohuta. That Ohuta, yes. Fred, yeah. Fred Ohuta, but how do you just build a road until you are gate? Love the rest of us, Nadoja. We just see your chuo though. Ah, bana. By the way, I'll tell you Barabara. Lami, it ends at his gate. Anyway, maybe I'll call and take another yakuaki. So it depends also. I'll call and take another yakuaki. That's for his pesa, pesa yakuaki. So you say this one. No, but Nadoja from Kalwa. Okay, you know the the once you once you branch off Koroe. Yes. Now you're going to past Withur. Yes. When you're going out to the health center on that other side. Now leading to the left side, that culvert there mm. was broken years ago. So up or two, but in a sibu, sometimes just leave your cars there, you walk. Calvert me vunjika yu pande. It was one big culvert. Yeah, it was one big culvert. Instead of putting two, mm. because you don't just put one that two vehicles cannot cross. Yes. Yeah, you just put two. Yeah. Maji pite chini yenda mali na yenda. Calvert cannot be crying for culvert for five years. Yeah, wow. Ata kama, ata kama si nutaka tu change, tu sakuja na harambe, tena ni kalvat. Kalvat. Lakini na juu yuko nuto, just go with your own kalvat there. The government, the county area has to know. Yes. Ome kujana kalvat. But then that's where I come from. Rice, producing area of Ahero. You guys produce rice. Yes. And you know you guys, you guys decided to to go live next to the lake. So I don't know how you guys are farming there. Next to the lake. Yeah, because you know people when when the lake was receding. Yeah. You guys went. You were following the lake. See, we're, no, we're no, not following the lake. We wanted, we wanted beachfront. <laughs> <laughs> now beach what is beachfront is midwater. Ah, the Luna Ra. Wanted beachfront. Now we are buying boats. So you're growing rice now. Yes. Yes. Growing rice with my dad. Yeah. Because he's retired. How many acres? Not too many. You know, you have, how many? How many parties do you have? Like six, seven parties. Six, seven. You're not not, just, not yeah, too many. That's, that's still a lot. Yeah, we I mean, you can produce at least like if, if you consider the, the average size. Yeah, of yeah. The, the, the farmer there. So you do about 12, 15 sacks. Mm. But now, now the other thing, of course, you know, we all all have this problem of uh, NCPB, National Cereals and Produce, produce Board. board. Um, it doesn't make sense if you the the cost of you know investment of producing that one sack of rice is four thousand. Then they want to buy it for three thousand. Yeah, doesn't make sense. And that's why you're actually killing the, the, the economy because yeah. now you're importing rice, I don't know, from where, Pakistan and all these places. Yes, yes, yes. The people are actually buying the rice actually are coming from Uganda. Yes, they come I and see buy rice there. from the farm. Yes. So first of all, they cut off the middleman. Yes. And guys are like, you know what? These guys are coming to buy the rice at 5K. If I can make my 1K, my 1,000 to 200 shillings per, per sack, per sack yeah. better than selling 3K to Gava. Mm. And you're complaining there's no food. Food is there, we're just selling it to UG. Mm. Then the UGs come and sell it back to us. Yeah, the package is sell it. The package is then we import. And you know this is going to kill towns like Aero, the small market centers. Can you imagine? Aero, Rabuor, Katito, some of the 
just just in that area and yes. you know you know the economy in Harris is, is actually quite big eh? yes. because uh, from all the from Mawasi all the way now to to Kisumu, Kisumu yeah. That's what separates now, you know, from the Kericho area to, yes, yes. Yeah, to, to, to the western part. Yeah. And that economy can actually just grow. For me, the problem is Aero has stagnated like that. Yeah. For, For the long, past, I don't know how many years. Mwea was a fraction of Aero. Yes. Now Aero is a fraction of Mwea. We, you, know, you, you know you've reached Aero when you get to that petrol station. Yes. Petrol <laughs> <Gani. laughs> <Total. Gani. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And yeah you know, so, 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 I mean, but at least, you know, this, uh, trying to produce uh, rice is not much. Mm. But Najambia, you know what? Uh, the parties have to be uh, to be occupied, so you do it. Yeah. And 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 I think farming is cool. You've never tried uh, sugarcane? No. I was very tempted to get into sugarcane. How is it? Have you done sugarcane? I do it. Yeah. Fifteen acres uh -huh. and above. It's very nice where they. Uh -huh. It is better than keeping your money in the bank. But now also the good thing is that the the prices are going up. You know, Kitambo, like five, six, se seven, eight years ago, uh -huh. if you grew sugarcane, yeah. Then, uh, if you deliver to the factories, you'll get eight, nine thousand per ton. But uh -huh. now you get three yeah. or four, yeah. depending on the zones. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. from A, B, C, D. Yeah. Uh, further from the factory, less you are paid. Yeah. The problem is that it's not about those things. The problem is that if you are far from the factory, you spend more on transportation. Yes. Then, and um, the other challenge is that there are a lot of middlemen who do nothing. The society. Mm -hmm does nothing mm. then the transporter the factories still deduct mm. the money from your harvest yeah the transport fee but nobody will come to transport your sugarcane to the factory without you paying up front so it's double taxation <laughs> then sugarcane is the only tax raw material yeah so for us to change this we have to farm yes for us to change this, yeah. we have to farm. Because yeah. at least the pushback we put, yeah, yeah. at least it's increasing. We have to farm. Because otherwise, our livelihoods will be destroyed. You'll just be yeah, sugar cane is an interesting one now. Now you're giving me ideas. Yeah, so you see, you're telling me I'm doing too many things, but and you're giving me more the ideas. Good, the, the good thing with sugar cane, <laughs> you know you can plant once, yes. but harvest three, four times. Yes. Yes. You know you can plant. Yeah, yeah. The first harvest, maybe mm. you'll not get your money. The second yeah. harvest, maybe lucky, you can yeah. get a return on it. But third harvest, definitely, sure. yeah. if you did everything well, you put fertilizers, you, you, you weeded, what, you'll get a return. Mm. Yeah? That's a good thing. Because, you know, rice, you plant once, you harvest, kill yeah. a kid, you have to plow you again. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to, but sugar so, cane, so at least you can go to all yeah. those yeah. rounds. And you, and you can lease farms. Yeah. Now, uh, now that some people are running away from The problem is, it's not even the planting and harvesting. The problem is we have to also look for capacity with our friends. Yes. For hauling. Yeah. Yeah. Because I saw some people planted 100 acres, yeah. but they don't have ah, the capacity enough to, yeah. capacity to hold this. Mm -hmm. Because when these factories came, like Kibos and the sugar factories yeah. of the government yeah. are almost dead. But when these private ones came, they brought their tractors. Yes. But people chased them. Yeah. These are chunk enders, you know, mm. these um, standalone. Yeah. The standalone trans uh, mm. transporters, the private transporters. Yeah. They see them going with their tractors elsewhere. They chased them. So these guys took their tractors to Uganda. So you know what is happening now is that uh, they don't, because the small Achunkenders have the very small tractors. Some of them are not so powerful to go in a very yeah. muddy area. Yeah. And they don't have the, the what, the, 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 the pool, the, yes. the, 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 the what, the, the, the Komekos for, yeah. for Ninis. And, and also Kano the, is the muddiest uh, place you can be in yes, this country. and Madiake, yeah. it's not, Kwanza is not even the muddiest the kind of mud you're dealing with is very bad. Because if it starts to dry in a kakama gum, yes. in a shika body, in a wheel, and you cannot and you move. Can't move. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, a clutch. I'm a guy, you know. Yeah, so it's very nice to hear that you're doing, you know, you're doing No, I want, to, I want to really, no, I'm, I'm considering it. Uh, it sounds like a should, nice should idea. Come, I, 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 I give I, you introduction. I, I, also, farming is cool. I live right in the middle of where people plant yeah. sugar cane. And I think it's something we have to do. Because, yeah. Because it has the biggest potential in that area. If you drive all the way from just after Fortenan, yeah. it's all sugarcane plantation. Yeah. If you leave Aero, uh -huh. then you pass Kisumu yes. because of the town. Yeah. After Kisumu, mm -hmm. you are going towards Kakamega. Yeah. Or if you are going to Bostia. To Bostia That's all yeah. sugarcane. The most common thing you'll see there is sugarcane. Yeah. You come down to Ndewa, South Nyanza, 
Sugarcane is the most common thing. Mpaka migori, mpaka border na sirari. Sugarcane. Don't worry, we have hope that we are going to be reviving <laughs> yes. the so sugarcane industry. Not going to, you know, like the maize farmers, people <coughs> found out that instead of planting maize, it's good to buy to be a broker. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's more lucrative to be the more broker than... Yes. Ah. Yeah, so what you do is that you wait people plant, then they go Middle to all the trouble, the then you, say, you go, and now if you have enough money, uh. you buy one million sacks. <laughs> <laughs> then you wait, NCPB... On a chase on a prize. Lafu <laughs> <laughs> That's what those guys do. What? But I think we have to plant sugarcane for us to change a lot of things and we need not to do what is happening. With ah. the, with the, with the no, computer. definitely. That's, that's one, yeah, one yeah, um, yeah, yeah. avenue to exploit. Yes. Give yeah. it me another plus one you, thing you, to do. You need to, you need to come because, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be baptized by fire. Yeah. You need to come for lessons. You just come, tour. Yeah. Next time you're going home, just call me. We go tour. I'll tell you how to do it. If more influential guys do farming, yeah. it becomes cool. You influence policy. Yes. You change a lot of things. No, farming is cool. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, yes, farming yes, is cool. Yes, yes, yes. This interview was alone. about you. It was about you, not about me. What I'm doing in, 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 no, in, but it's also uh, going to be about me. Next time you invite me, I'll tell you about you. Farming. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so you do rice only. Yes, yeah. for now. Yeah. Next sugar can you wait? Yeah, and yeah. and the watermelon. You don't do these garden things. Where no, I do. I actually I do. Yes. Uh, I do a bit of home gardening. Yes. But for the kitchen garden, yes. Uh, thanks to my pallet work, mm. I managed to build you know like the kitchen garden to plant mint. What? So that I can be able to do you know cocktails. Mm. You know, most cocktails you need. What, to, uh, what size of compact you have? Is that a small one? It's a small one. It's a small yeah. one. No, I mean, just, you know, these, these boxes that you buy from the market. Yes, yes, yes. I think I have like there's 20 another, of those. There's another kind of thing where you buy, it's called storied farming. I don't know if you have yes, tried the yes, farming. Yes, yes. Yes. No, that's, that's the next step now. Yes, yes. Now that I've uh, developed some green hands, I yes, can now yes. go to the next stage. The space you can plant yeah. 13 plants. Yeah. In storied farming, you can plant 150. Yes. That, that's that's where I want to go next. Yes. Because I want to do a bit of skuma and spinach. Yes. And you know some some of these uh, herbs. Yeah. Uh, it's very nice with it. You should uh, try it, especially that, if, you, if you have no space. Yes. It's good for people who don't have no space. space. Yeah. yeah. I used to, I used to do the sack farming at one point. You know, put a sack and lafu skumas na mea from the side and all that. I'm like ah, but na yata siyesi post Facebook. Yeah. What what ani rarua sana na yeye. No, but but uh, but definitely something to look into. Mm. Why why did you leave uh, radio? Why did I leave radio? Yeah. Now you went I, into I, diplomas. I, 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 I did radio for 10 years. Eh? Yes, yeah. From because I did year? five years. Uh, in, in, actually, I joined in 07, uh, mm. 2007. Mm. I did uh, five years uh, on case and five years on classic. Mm. And in my head, I'd always told myself that I'm going to do 10 years on radio. Uh, I was thinking it was going to do like about 15. Mm. But then I was doing my master's at the same time. Uh, and my master's was uh, in diplomacy and international relations. Mm. And uh, at the UN also. Yes, at the University of Nairobi. Yeah. Me, I'm a, I'm a UN uh, product uh, mm. through and through. <coughs> Even right it. now, I'm still at UN. Eh? Oh, okay. You're doing PhD. I'm doing a PhD, yes. God knows why. But <laughs> so after that, I did my master's and I graduated. Uh, the opportunity opened up at the, at the, at the French embassy. Mm. And since I already spoke the language mm. and I did my master's in it, yeah. And I uh, was in media. It was a perfect fit. Yeah. So because it's, um, I'm in communications yeah. uh, and, I need and to talk press. to the UK to give you some Listen, do you, know, do you know my first, my first ever interview that I did when I joined uh, radio? Mm. It was with Clay, I remember. Yes. And I told him that one day I'm going to be Kenyan ambassador to France or Geneva. Or a French-speaking country. Yeah, Mali. Like, and I'm going to start... <laughs> and they're going to be responding to the coup now. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the whole African the countries. Whole <laughs> yeah, the African. No, and, and I'm going to, and I'm going to uh, prepare myself to make myself as qualified as possible for mm. that to happen. Mm. So I started with learning the language. Mm. And then I went to diplomacy. Mm. Now I'm doing the, the PhD. Mm. So that if it doesn't happen, it's not for lack of me being... Unqualified, mm. but it's either have you applied? Uh, it's either I've not been, you know, like contacted. I've have not you been considered. For the foreign affairs, you know the positions because you know, sometimes you can say that they don't see you. Yeah. you expect them to know say you. Yeah. So you apply you know, to me and be apply. No, you want to be seconded to an yes. embassy. Yes. Kenyan embassy somewhere. Even if they, because I've seen some guys who have studied uh, German. Yes. Are in these African countries where they don't mm. speak German. Yeah. 
So they can take you anywhere. I think also depend on what interaction you're going to have. The, the interest of Kenya there, because the interest of Kenya is to impress the Japan, German policy. Yes, in yes. Yeah, 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 no, slowly I'm getting there. Yeah. Finishing my uh, PhD hopefully next year. Yeah. So I have another quicker pressure this year. <laughs> but if you have diplomatic appointment, yes. please prove to people that you know through education we can still achieve our dreams. Who is the minister now? <laughs> oh, uh, Rachel, Mamu. Rachel, yeah, Mamu. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, f that's one thing we actually lacked, that... Yes. You know, people started believing that, oh, Lazima Ufanya, I don't know what side can be able to get all these big jobs. Mm -hmm. we, we, we started putting education on, on the side. that Oh, you don't have to. No, studying can also get you to where you want to go. Yes, yes. We want to take it through studies. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's one thing, that a lesson I want to give uh, my kids, that mm -hmm. masomo ni mzuri at the end of sana, the day. Sana, sana. Yes, at the end of the day, studying is good. And you yeah. can actually achieve what you want to it achieve. It polishes you. Exactly. It packages you. Yeah. It makes you yeah. more... Yeah, presentable, presentable and amenable yes, to people. Yes, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. So studies, you know. Mm. So you're doing diplomacy, um, music. Uh, I started, now there's another challenge, mm. uh, playing the saxophone. Mm. Uh, funny story. Nairobi Horns Project. Yes. They're, they're very good. One of the best, uh, you know, uh, horns a section we have in this country. And they're actually performing once at uh, the Michael Joseph Center. Mm. And uh, I was seated with Bob actually at the back. And we challenge ourselves that, listen, you know, we have to go and... At one, at one point of our lives, we have to play the saxophone. So that's where the challenge came in. Yes. And bought a saxophone and started practicing. So I'm taking classes, mm. pole pole, with uh, McKinley from Nairobi Homes. Yes. And at least I can be able to, you know, perform uh, during the family Why lunches. Saxophone? Hmm? Where's saxophone? Saxophone is a very sexy instrument. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't have to sing. No. You know, when you have a guitar, you have yes. to sing. Yes. And if you sing badly, yeah. saxophone, you don't have to sing. You just play and it's very soothing and jazz. Yeah, you know, you know, in music, <laughs> I, find, I find something lacking in music in this yeah. country, especially the local music. Walking in any of these big malls, yeah. you'll never find any shop selling Orutu, Kayamba, Natiti. True. O Obokano, what? All these instruments from African countries. And I think there's a, there's a market mm. there. Especially mm. if you like doing handy things. Yes. Handy. And if you have a background of theater. Yeah. Because background of theater makes you understand culture. Yes. You know, so and I think that is lacking. And I've tried to beg many musicians. that Can you try to look into this? There's a day I was looking for a nyatiti. Why are you looking for nyatiti? Me, I can tell you somebody who can make a nyatiti ooh, tomorrow. Ooh. You know Ngala? Ngala Oreo? I uh, used to perform with Yunasi, the yes. group Yunasi. Yes. He sang, uh, Sorry, my voice is bad. That's <laughs> yes. why I played the saxophone. Yes. Uh, he knows how to make. Yes. And he's like, it's a skill he learned. He actually went to Shags yes. and sat with these guys. Is like, he dedicated to making them? He's actually, he's a, he's a music producer. Yes. But focusing mostly on African tunes. Yes. So he's uh, making uh, Nyatitis and Orutus. Yes. Mostly. Yes. Uh, but not dedicated just making those. Yes. But he can make them. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, especially the the, the Luo, Ngala is a Luo. Yeah. You know, dealing with this Luo <laughs> artist sometimes is very hard. I tried, you know, Makadem, uh, not disciplined enough because he's producing, he's singing. No, but he's doing everything, yeah? He's That's doing the everything. That's, That's the, the other thing. thing. You know, so also, also telling them, but having, see, the, having them make for you. Fi finding one person mm. who is going to do just that one craft. Yes. If, if, you go to, if you go to Europe, for instance, yes. the, the producer cannot be the main actor, cannot be the sound technician, yes, cannot yes. be the cameraman. Yes, yes. It's like I'm an actor because that's what my strong point is. Yes. And that's what you do. And it pays me. And it pays. If you're a producer, you just produce. And you do it very well. How many producers of repute do you think we have in this country who have just done music production and that's what they do? Yeah? I mean, of course, we started off with uh, Ted Josiah was... You know, he, he did uh, one of the best albums I think this country has ever done. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenyan Boy, Kenyan Girl, sold out and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, now we went to Gengeton uh, with the Clemo, mm -hmm. uh, with the Kenyan Jokali, you know. They, they did it. Mm -hmm. So, but what how... What kind of instruments do you get in Gengeton? Uh, see, see, this is an ini. You know, because my worry is that we are... We, are, we, we don't have... Lose. No, we are losing our culture. Yeah, we don't have like... Big imagine really imagine, imagine if you did uh, Tingbadi Malo, mm -hmm. but you put Nyatiti beats. Or at some point, or you did a collab mm. with a nyatiti player, because you know, you know, you the most basic nyatiti beat is kobla gilong marachal. Yeah. So imagine, imagine if you had those. There are only not more than four or five people who can make nyatiti in this country. There mm -hmm. are not more than twenty people who can play nyatiti in this country. 
True. And play it well. Yes, and play it well. You know, the Actually, Joe Wheels, uh, the, 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 I look for them in Allegro, uh, Genyo, uh, what, getting them is hard. And when I got them, they sold me the Nyatiti for 35, I think 40,000. But I'd say it was worth it because I looked for it for like three, four months. And when I got them, and you know, he played for me some bits, he say. The, the, there was a time, there's yeah. this guy who is, he, he plays the Roto. He was playing it in the streets of Kisumu. Yes, yes. Somebody took that video and posted it on Facebook. Mm. And this guy was playing and singing. Yes. And you know, he's just, uh, instead of just begging, mm. he was like playing in traffic. Somebody gives him something. Yes. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, he brought him to a studio in Nairobi. And they worked together for, and this, this guy is just a guy who loves African music. He just loves Luo music, not even African music. He just loves Luo music and the traditional instruments. He's called Dickens. And he's like, get into studio. Do you have songs? He's like, yeah. Let's record the ones that you have. Now the guy has an album. Mm. How many people can actually just do that? You know, mm. you find somebody who is talented mm. and tell them that, listen, you might not have the opportunity of doing this, but let me take... Let me go and get you studio space. Even if it's, you come up with an agreement with the guy saying that, listen, if you sell albums, you can have a revenue share or yes, whatever yes, it is. Yes. But how many people can just say that, listen, you are talented, let's get into studio? Apart from the likes of Akina Tabu, you know, who have done Susa. it for many years. Tabu Susa has done it for many years. Yes. How many One other of the people, best books I ever have, I think, from any is the, is the Benga? Yes, the yes. History of Benga. The History of Benga is yes. a very good yeah, book. Yeah, eh? it's a very good book. Ah, no, Tabu put, yeah. put a lot of uh, effort yeah. into that. Yeah. But now, who is the, who is the next Tabu? Yes. You get. And yeah. even you, as you're saying with, with the Nyatiti, who is going to be producing the next Nyatiti? Who is yes. going to be producing the, the next of Bukanos, the Adeudeu, the Pugandate? Yes, yeah. Who is going to be producing the next one? Yes. Yeah, the, the Chepkesem. Yes. Yeah, I remember all and these remember, things. remember, remember when you were growing up, I think uh, the same time with uh, me, what, what used to happen? If you listen to Mwendo wa Kumariru. Yes. yes. You know, you, yes. You, you, didn't think, you didn't think of his tribe. No, no, no. You no, no, dance no. to that music. You just dance to the music because yeah. the tune is That's there. That's the boys band. It is there. <laughs> yes. And he would dance from yeah. morning to... Mudoni Tiagas. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are... Kipagio. Mudoni Kipagio. You never really cared whether it was Kikuyu. Yeah, you just you liked know, the tune and you were like, this is the... But of course, you know, it wasn't so pronounced then. This is your ethnicity. Yes, Nowadays, yes, it's, yes. it's being propagated left, right, and center yes. as the core thing. Mm. But appreciating music for the sake of music is just mm. something that you just do. Yeah. You get it. And, mm. and more so now that I'm, I'm starting to learn music, mm. you actually realize that what if, yes, I might be playing the saxophone, but what if I played a Luo song? Yes. Just put some sax yes. into it for your kids. Imagine you your kids, it. because your kids are. Uh, Kind of mirrors, you know. Look at this. Oh, man, that's yes, that's yes. Now that's yes. You see, you see, when you have, when you have, when you have such beautiful kids, and they go to where Brookhouse, and they go to Brookhouse, and then for their project, they play Oruto instead of the sax, yeah, or the violin. They say, "As we want to bring you, we come with our alo." Traditional mm -hmm. and and this was called what and the garas yes you know, the garas yes the, yes and then you have the headgear yeah. was called yes. what um, yeah. uh, what is it uh, called? Uh, no, no. What was called was called uh, so it's it's a specific Luo yes. name yes yes what the name yes. uh, <laughs> I forgot about my, that my mother will slap me for yes, not knowing yes. this one yeah. <laughs> and if you if 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 you had those yeah and you recorded that and put it online. I don't know how many people are inspired by that journey, but I think yeah. five, six people yes. bought Nyatitis because yeah. I bought it. Yeah. Imagine if you had a music shop and the that music shop. Yes, and, yes, yes. And or you tell the I'll produce you, mm -hmm. but on condition that you put a Kenyan instrument in your song. Yes. Local content. Yeah. Local content. You say that even if you make a beat through a computer, put a Kenyan instrument. Because I think these all these softwares can be changed. To have they can. An African instrument. They can. Yes. There, there was a group. Yes. There still is actually. Yes. Kenge Kenge Oruto Sisters. Yes, yes. Kenge Kenge, mm. very interesting story. My sister used to dance with Kenge Kenge Oruto yes, Sisters. Yes. I also danced with Kenge Kenge at one yes, point of yes, my yes, life. Yes. yes, I was in a sexual scat and you know those yeah. things. I, di I did that. <laughs> Luckily, I cooked one on Facebook and I went to Kane Leo. You did not dance here. Yeah. No, but Kenge Kenge Oruto Sisters was one of the most authentic groups. Mm. And people wonder how they managed even to go on tour in Europe. And the U.S. because it's very simple. There is no Orutu in the U.S. Yes. There is no Nyatiti in Europe. Yes. Even if there was, it's authentic. Yes. They would understand it. It's right. authentic. Yes. And you put that in a concert. Yes. Where? 
guys are like, hey, hmm? you know, they are looking at the me. singing this instrument. Guy. Hey, hey. Some people can sing for you a song <laughs> with, the with, the, with just that thing, but yeah, yeah. So f for me, I'm like, even learning that instrument on its own, mm. you know, learning the guitar for me, I think is very, I, I don't play the guitar because I find it difficult. Mm. The Orutu, I find it difficult because you're like, just one string producing all these things. I'm yes. like, how, how yes. is this even possible? Yes, yes. But those guys do it. Yeah. So there's that avenue. I think it's just dedication. It's just dedication to it. Yes. And also, you know, just giving people the avenue of doing yeah. it. Yeah. And I think the avenue can actually My six-year-old daughter tried to play Nyatiti and she played a tune just because of her piano lessons. She could get stage. Ah, that's, really? That's D. That's E. Daddy, that's E. That's now, D. Uh, that's the problem G. with Nyatiti, we never learned Nyatiti with <laughs> D, G, E. Yes. Ah, Nyatiti, it's like Boda Boda Kwa Kiwanda, end up. So Nyatiti, you are given, you pluck until you find a tune. Uh, but you, you see these guys. <laughs> But I want to play the Nyatiti. I yes. bought a Nyatiti. I don't yes. know where it disappeared to, but yes. I want to. I bought one. Yes. Actually, I think I have one in the house. Yes. That is gathering dust like your camera. Yes. Uh, and now you're challenging me to do more things. No, no, no. no. You guys. Eh? See, we, we, no, I'm no, doing no, too no, many no. things. We, 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 we need to find ways of inspiring these young people. And you know, this is where you, you come in and tell the young people in, in, a, in, in, in brief as we close yeah. that, you know, to market this country, mm. we need to build everything else exists. Yes. An American rapper exists. Yes. You yes. Know, stop sounding like an American. Mm. Yeah? Try to be authentic and you build a call. Uh, what, what I can say is uh, mm. simple and straightforward. Mm. That there's only one you. Yes. You're unique. If you want to know you're unique, just eka eka alama ya kidole. Your fingerprint is unique. Meaning that your DNA is unique. Meaning that whatever you produce that is original to you is unique. Simple as that. But also, don't forget where you come from. In as much as we you know we're taking advantage of technology and you know uh, embracing, there's a lot of exchanges that can happen, not just one way. It, you know, knowledge cannot just be one way that we are only absorbing what you know ha has been brought from elsewhere. But we can also share what we have. We can take it outside, show people what we have. Like I've just you know. Ah, yes, playing the saxophone, but you know, getting a niwara no not you know. Yes. Playing that, you know, there's, ah, yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a kaurutu nyatiti here, yes. but there's like a saxophone also accompanying. That's yes. now, the, when you're merging this, yes, yes. that can be something absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And I think people would pay money just to go on stage to watch that kind of yeah. fantastic mix. Premium money. That People would pay. You yeah. put tickets at a thousand bob and you're like, oh, you put a picture of a saxophone and a nyatiti and, and a deu deu and all this. I think it's just beautiful. So mm. there's, there's very many things we can actually export um, yeah. from this country that is positive vibes. Yeah. We don't always just have to dwell in negative things. Yes. Let's use social media f to promote each other instead of always just bashing <laughs> each other. <laughs> what is the one tweet you remember? Ah, where you watching? <laughs> no, just one. Just mention one. The one you remember from whoever, as long as it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, funny thing, you've never bashed me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just tell me, just tell me which one, you know. Uh, one tweet. Mm, which comes to mind when you remember Twitter, you say. When I remember by Twitter, day, yeah. by the way, I apologized for 48 hours. 48 hours, you did what? Oh, you, oh, oh, you No, I was you apologizing posted, on guys. You, you posted oh. something. No, the, I posted something. Okay, something was posted on my on my platform. You know, because you have a social media You're manager, whatever. Yeah. No, I used to. Okay. When I used to work on radio. Oh, okay. So you know, topic discussions. You don't have time to always do all these yeah, things. Yeah. So the person who was posting something posted the wrong message to the vis -a -vis right what, you, you remember when when you're having all these schools burning down and all yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we were like, what, what, what could the problem be? Is it you know like we? We are lacking more further figures for our kids growing up yes, because yes. of that discipline. Yes, yes. But the way it was phrased on my Twitter came out like we were blaming uh, single mothers for why schools are burning. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you always get not get away with that. So, yeah. so uh, you know, I'm I'm, oh, me, I'm ready. I'm working. Week, yes. And then, uh, guys, I'm, I'm I'm looking at Twitter and the guys are insulting me. I'm like, hey, Quinn, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. So I called this lady. I'm like, hey, what did you post? So she sent me what she posted. I'm like, I did not even say that. What are you talking about? Now, you see, that, that one you let slide because you don't want, first of all, to, you know, you're not helping her yes. by, you know, risking the job. If, you know, if you report it like, oh, she did the wrong thing, that's just trouble for no reason. Mm. So you just take one for, you just swallow, hey, guys, Paul, that was not what I intended to post. And you let it at that. Where? Yeah. Where? 
Uli Rostiwa. Who do you think you are? Yes. Including your colleagues at work. Eh, hey, hey, in capital you letters. <laughs> you know, back at my phone. Yes. Back when you're getting SMSs from colleagues. Mm. They're asking you, hey, chief, when you, what's going on? Mm. Now, the people who know me, they're like, ah, that lady can't have to say that. So, but the people who don't, which is yes. most of, yes, of yes, Kenya. Yes, yes, yes. Nearly to abash. Nearly to see why I can't. Uh, listen, Moka. And uh, the, people, the people who want to start a career in activism. Where? <laughs> That's when I discovered Kenyans on Twitter. Because but you still, you still, you still do a lot of tweeting, yeah. yeah I still, I still tweet. Uh, it's quite still a bit. your best platform. What Facebook? Uh, no, actually, uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Uh, because Instagram, you know, with pictures, Photo photography. Photography. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since I do a lot of photography, that's what I use most. Pinterest. Uh, not, not, not that much. Pinterest, I go there to get ideas for my furniture. TikTok. <laughs> no. You should dance on TikTok. I am not on TikTok. <laughs> I don't even know how to load TikTok. <laughs> Are you on TikTok? Yeah, Kidog, but I don't do anything. You're on TikTok. I don't do anything. But you know, I just to... go, you know, this Aziad. When Aziad came, I say, who is this Aziad? <laughs> You're on TikTok because of Aziad. No, because, you know, people, ah, are, people, people, are, talking, no. people are talking about TikTok. And also there was a story. It was written on the Washington Post. Yeah. The influence of TikTok on the young Muslim youth. Mm. It was very good for recruitment of ISIS. Ah, so yeah, I was trying yeah. to understand this. Okay, that, I might have yes, 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 I needed to understand this platform. Because that was my PhD. So and also, security and studies. And so that might be interesting. Yes. Ah. So I needed to, yeah. So it was very good for recruitment. And ISIS did it a lot. So and so the FBI and the CIA were trying to get into it. and also, Then ah. also this politics of Trump, where yeah. he was trying to yeah. calm down, bite down the company on TikTok. But, but, but what I'm saying is, social media and just technology in general, Yes. you cannot spend... 60% of your day yes. bashing people. <laughs> ah. You need to see something good in there. At least. <laughs> okay, you go, you like if, me, like me now. If I, you, you know, no, but you, you also, you just caught trouble. You are like a maternity driver. You know, like, no, me, I'm just good. I'm just, I'm just good. I'm just, you know, you know, people, people don't understand. I, I times I look at your tweets, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm I'm the, now I'm interview the, I'm, I'm the most what is what is what is your problem with the people? You know, no, no, I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so apart from Twitter, Instagram, are you on Snapchat? No. Five websites you visit in a day before you or throughout the day. Five so top, the day. Top five, five websites. Uh, top five. Yeah. Well, now that I'm, uh, I'll do some academia work. Yes. I, I do. I, yeah. I, I do uh, Google, mm. but I do the Google Scholar, yes. at least oh. for, for, for some reviews. Very nice if, platform, if I'm, yeah. I'm trying to read some, some journals and all that. Mm. Uh, but they, you know, Kenyans don't know that Google for schools is free. Google, Google, Google Scholar. For, yes. You know, it's free. And yes. those, the information there is not it's, fake news. Yes. If you want to verify <laughs> some yes. statistics, go to Google That's, Scholar. Yeah. Not just Google. There's so yes. much you can discover from, from that platform. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, I, I do a lot of, uh, you know, I read uh, RFI. Yes. Because also, they have <laughs> yeah, a platform. Know, that. <laughs> That's yeah. also for work. Yes. Uh, but I also do, you know, like, uh, I watch Al Jazeera and CNN yes, and yes, international yes. news um, yes. generally. Yeah. I uh, thought you'd, you'd focus on the Francophone Africa. I no, used, no, no. When, I, when I was working in Congo, uh, there's a TV station called TV Sank. TV Sank, yes. TV Sank, TV5. Yes, TV5, yeah. yes. It used to be. Powerful. Hey, because I'm on TV. It's very powerful. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But, but uh, you know, also, it depends. If I, I do a lot of uh, reading for, for work, mm. but also, like, now when you talk about leisure things, uh, I'm looking at, you know, all these uh, social media sites mm. and all that. Uh, that's for leisure. And, of course, you know, try to... For leisure? Uh, for leisure? Uh, uh, yeah, to do, do you travel? I travel, yes. <laughs> travel junkie or something like that? No, Tinder. <laughs> no. I <laughs> don't <laughs> I'm not on Tinder. Yeah, you know, guys go when they travel. You know, they go. They They're like swipe a, left hey, or right. Hey. No. <laughs> umeka, ume, umefika, umefika, umefika new country. Hey. And you've never been there. And the closest to, to me. Yes. Ah, pana, no, then I'm you know this Tinder. character of Kenyans of when they go, when they miss technology, then they try to use the clubs. Then they realize that you know some countries clubbing starts at 11 p.m. PM. Yes. It's not e Kenya una talk a job. Um, na yeah, club. Club. <laughs> Wale wanaenda home na kula dinner na watu hii. Eh wana wana nini wa, yeah, put yeah, the kids to bed alafu wanaenda club. Yes. Yes. Sisi we come back to wake the kids <laughs> yes, up look, in the morning. <laughs> I look for a club in Lisbon. Yeah. So you know una talk a conference and eh. went, you look for a club. Not open. Not open. Until 11 p.m. Until 11 11 p.m. just in, 
you know, you didn't have the steam from six. So I just feeling sleep. I'm saying what? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so when you're going to sleep, guys are going to the club. Yes. Ukenya. Travel, Ukenya, travel, yeah, travel, travel, <laughs> travel, 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 travel. Yeah, okay. so those are the websites you use, the technology, you know, you tech, know tech, and tech. also when you're using, when, when you're on radio, mm. I think the technology has really improved. It, it has, yeah. it has, because right now even, even people develop a lot of podcasts, because I also look for podcasts that are interesting. You're not doing podcasts, by the way, you're very good no. in podcasts. I haven't, Especially I haven't. Um, no, make of all, call yourself something like that. Maker of all. Maker of all. Don't, don't like copyright it. that, that's mine. <laughs> yes. I've copyrighted it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Make of all. Then you just <laughs> interview people who are doing, you know, like the, I think I have then, uh, under Eric Ash Ashman. Yeah. He was trying to do this, um, it's called what? These gadgets. Yeah. He was, and he was just talking to people who are making, yeah. making creative things. Yeah. You know, people are just creating yeah. things using their hands and, you yeah. know, the artistic skills. I think it will be very good if you host that because everybody. Well, you know, the, 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 like two other people have told me to do podcasts. So yeah. just, I don't know. Mm. I'll think about it, but mm. Uh, mm. it's not been on my radar immediately. Mm. Yeah. And I actually even have the microphone at home and all that. Anyway, I'll think about it. It's yeah. like your camera gathering dust. I'm not going to let you rest with that camera. <laughs> come, Go come, out come, and come, shoot. Come. By the way, you, have, you have a very nice team here. You just Go and shoot. Them. Yeah. You don't have to own them. I you know some of these things. If I'm not a camera guy, I yeah. don't own cameras. True, yeah, you know, True. I just, I just call if somebody like there's a guy who is doing podcasts. He just uh, ha, has the podcast studio, mm. so you just, you just book your minutes. You want two hours, three hours, come. For do your week. stuff, go. yeah. Do your stuff, go. I think it's somewhere in town. I don't know if people will go to some, the podcast. Podcast guy are, are you guys the elites? <laughs> <laughs> Star City or to a village. <laughs> we are not at the elite. We are town, we are town. Ah, guys. The elite, there are people in this country who never step in town. The Rundas, the Giris, you know, they. Anyway. Yeah. That's digressing. Asante Sana, Larry, for coming. No, thank you very are much you, for this you, chat, but. Are you twins? Huh? With, 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 with the. With the. With the. Yes, Larry. No. Oh, you're not twins. I'm you're three not... years older than him, but. Oh? What do you mean, twins? <laughs> at least three years. Ah, partner. Yeah. At least three years. <laughs> <laughs> He's younger than me, just for the record. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Thanks, Sana. Sunday, Sana, for coming. Thank you, uh, For coming to this our show. I think this is the fourth or the fifth episode. So you have come one of the early guests. Nimeshukuru. Nimeshukuru, Sana, for you coming. Yeah. And I like your... I'm trying to do this. I'm telling you I'm the, doing the shady one. So I want to... Yeah, you're doing the shady one. ones. <laughs> Next time you see me, the good ones. Again. Uh, I hope the, you're not making them. No, no, I'm not making them. Actually, you know, during this COVID period, I mm. actually encourage people as much as possible. If mm. they have a business, they want to promote, you know, small businesses, yeah. I just put on my platform. I don't mind. I'll put them for free. Yeah. I love this one I bought. Oh. So somebody had posted on Jalango's uh, post, you know, like promote this business. Yes. So me, I try as much as possible to promote guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially small businesses. So that's what I do. Asante Sana, that's the audit for today. Thank you. <laughs>